Hi, I'm Lloyd Bell, the director of the Corporate Finance Group at Maiden & More. And today I'd like to give some advice for first-time buyers of businesses. Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or can't, you're right. When it comes to buying a business, the ability to effectively run a business is a different skill set than what is required to complete an acquisition. As a result, many successful companies or their executives underestimate the complexities involved in closing a transaction. By far the largest hurdle that buyers need to understand is that sellers don't have to be rational. A buyer can develop all sorts of financial models, projecting certain rates of return on various capital structures, but a seller rarely cares. Their internal rate of return is not calculated on a spreadsheet, but rather by what they've been able to provide for their family and what they hope to enjoy in retirement. A successful transaction, therefore, must meet the personal goals of the seller while protecting the financial goals of the buyer. Buyers also tend to underestimate how long it will take to successfully close a transaction. Not only does it take a significant amount of time to find the appropriate target company, but the amount of time required to woo and then wed will probably take longer than the buyer anticipates for a number of reasons. If outside financing is required, the buyer may find that banks are a little more measured in their approach than they had been a few years ago. If real estate is involved in the deal, the cast of characters now includes engineers and appraisers who may not share the same sense of urgency. And finally, while the buyer's legal and accounting advisors will be quick to respond, the seller's advisors, who likely will be losing a client as a result of the transaction, may find compelling reasons why this deal just isn't right. While the closing of an acquisition will likely veer from the original acquisition plan, buyers must remember to stick to the program as closely as possible. If specific steps drag on, it's better to close later than to take shortcuts on due diligence. If the economics change, either because of the seller's performance or the capital being made available, the buyer must stop and make sure that they are working to close a deal that still makes sense, not just working to close a deal. If you have any further questions, please visit our website, www.meadandmore.com, or call us. Thank you.